Hi, welcome back. If this is the first time that you are with me, my name is JC and I'm here to help you with your English. In this series, we're working on something we call homophones, which are words that sound the same but are spelt differently usually. Uh, they have different meanings. Uh, this is a listening activity, so I'll be asking you to write down words and then you'll pick the words which are correct according to the uh, context of each sentence. So this is part three in the series. Okay, let's get started. Group one. Write these two words. They're pronounced no. A. Do you know how to speak German? Do you know how to speak German? B. Jimmy, I told you, no more video games. Jimmy, I told you, no more video games. Group 2. Write these two words. They're pronounced air. A. I heard that you are an heir in your uncle's will. I heard that you are an heir in your uncle's will. B. Please let me go outside for some fresh air. Please let me go outside for some fresh air. Group 3. Write these three words. They're all pronounced two. A. Jenny is too old to play with dolls. Jenny is too old to play with dolls. B. I saw two deer in my backyard yesterday. I saw two deer in my backyard yesterday. C. They are going to New York tomorrow. They are going to New York tomorrow. D. Do you want some coffee too? Do you want some coffee too? Group number four. Write these three words. They're all pronounced right. A. A right is an observance or act characteristic of a church. A right is an observance or act characteristic of a church. B. Can you write clearly on a whiteboard? Can you write clearly on a whiteboard? C. You should turn right at the corner to get to the bank. You should turn right at the corner to get to the bank. Group 5. These two words are pronounced flour. A. I need two cups of flour for the cookie recipe. I need two cups of flour for the cookie recipe. B. Susie gave her teacher a beautiful little flower. Susie gave her teacher a beautiful little flower. Group 6. Write these two words. They're pronounced for. A. What did you give your mother for her birthday? What did you give your mother for her birthday? B. My mother Marie had four younger brothers. My mother Marie had four younger brothers. Now let's go back and check your answers. 1A. Do you know how to speak German? No. K-N-O-W. B. Jimmy, I told you, no more video games. N-O, right? 2A. I heard that you are an heir in your uncle's will. Heir, H-E-I-R. And B. Please let me go outside for some fresh air. Oxygen, right? A-I-R. 3A. Jenny is too old to play with dolls. T-O-O. -O. B. I saw two deer in my backyard yesterday. The number T-W-O. 
C. They are going to New York tomorrow. T O, the preposition. D. Do you want some coffee too? And here it is, we have the word too again, T O O, and in this context it means also. 4A. A rite is an observance or act characteristic of a church. Rite, R I T E. B. Can you write clearly on a whiteboard? Write, W R I T E. And C. You should turn right at the corner to get to the bank. And here it's the directions, so R I G H T. There's another sense of right, R-I-G-H-T, meaning if I say you are right, you are right, meaning you are correct, I agree with you. There's also another word right, which I didn't mention, and it's spelt W-R-I-G-H-T. And we see that used in words like playwright, which is someone who writes plays, and also shipwright, someone who builds ships. 5A. I need two cups of flour for the cookie recipe. Flour, F-L-O-U-R. B. Susie gave her teacher a beautiful little flower. F-L-O-W-E-R. And 6A. What did you give your mother for her birthday? F-O-R, the preposition, and B. My mother Marie had four younger brothers. The number four, F-O-U-R. So add these all up. I believe you have 15 today. So see if you have 15 out of 15. If you did, congratulations. And if not, go back and check the ones that you missed. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope that you'll be back the next time and we'll be continuing with part four on the homophones. Until then, take care and enjoy the rest of the day or the evening. Bye-bye.